stanspoker.com. Send it. Among the established names appearing here at the York Hall Bethnal Green, a young man from these parts already attracting big interest. George Hilliard from down the road in Canning Town. Two brisk wins, two first round stoppages before tonight. The gnarled journeyman Ernie Smith. 106 career fights with this. Let's see how he made a fist of this. Well, East London's 20-year-old George Hilliard certainly raised one or two eyebrows, even amongst the hardened critics, as he's literally burst onto the scene with two lightning-quick stoppage wins. Will we get more time to assess him here? Possibly against Midland's journeyman, but a hard man in Ernie Smith. Let's hope so, Jim. Yeah, well, you would expect, I mean, uh, you wouldn't expect a quick win against Smith. Hilliard was kind of growling at him before the introduction. He's trying to, to gain a little psychological advantage, but after 105 fights, I think Ernie Smith has seen it all. Uh, rubbing the head in there, Hilliard, I think the, ref, the referee was a little bit annoyed before the, the first bell, so I think he'll be getting on top of Hilliard pretty quickly if he gets a little bit nasty as he was doing there with his head. Now, Hilliard has a bit of a reputation coming through the amateurs. He's doing a one or two things that the uh, referees didn't quite approve of. But we know he's got power as he plants in a body shot hey! to Ernie Smith. He also has a good professional-looking style. I don't know if it was popular in the amateurs, but he looks at to have the makings of a real good pro. Right. Looked a little bit flash tonight in the first uh, 20 seconds or so, but he's tightened down a little bit now. His defence is a bit better looking, more business-like now. This is about the time he took out James Gorman last month in Kirkcaldy on the Fife Coast. Not that many, Jim, though, stop Ernie Smith early. Not as I'm saying, he's seen it all, not too impressed. But uh, a little bit of needle crept in just before the, the first bell sounded. So the referee got on top of it straight away, but it looks to be settling down now. A big jab and a left hook to follow from Hilliard. Stop time out. Yeah, I thought he would get in his, his case straight away. I mean, I think he, he realised he was going to have to control this young fellow's temperament a little bit. Smith getting in, a couple of his own. You see, he's just maybe thinking too much about what he's doing. Hell yeah, he walked right onto that beautiful right hand there. So hopefully he'll take that as a wake-up call, but his defence is a little bit sloppy, and so is his attitude in the first round here. Pretty low, that look with the right hand from Hilliard, and Lee Cook, the referee, has been fairly angry with him before and during this first session. Well, it's different to his last two performances already. Here's the second, the 20-year-old prospect from Canning Town. Two fights so far, two knockouts in the first. Burgess has been in a professional ring. Ernie Smith in fight number 106. This is his 21st of 2005. Remarkable. Now, Hilliard is still a little bit sloppy looking at the start of the second round here. Has to tighten up and has to sharpen up. He's just walking forward without any real thought of what he's doing. Left hand low of Hilliard. He's trying to get to grips with the defensive style of Smith.
missing with some of these, Jim. Yeah, but he has the look of a young man who's trying to put a show on for the crowd, but not concentrating on the job properly. He's not getting caught quite so often in this round, but he's, he just doesn't seem as if his attitude is right tonight. He's, as, as though he's putting on a show, showing off and not producing, but that's a lovely body shot. You can see Smith sucking in the oxygen there. Yeah, left hook to the ribs, trying it again, Hilliard as well. Come off quite as well second time. Smith pops one back as it warms up here in the second. Well, this is good to watch, but I don't know that Hilliard's corner will be any happier with his work in the second round. Still untidy. Still not really concentrating properly on the job. But uh, not bad to watch, as I'm saying. That was good. The crowd show their appreciation. He sold bundles of tickets. George Hilliard got quite a following in these parts. Really trying, isn't he? Desperately. Yeah, he's, as I said, he's just putting a show on. I mean, you can see the potential, but uh, he wants to sharpen up his thing. There's not enough method in what he's doing. He's just walking forward not thinking about the punches that are coming his way. Smith battling away, as always, coming off a defeat against Stuart Hellwell right. earlier in the month. Don't keep hitting him on the break. Third and four, George Hilliard, who's had a really exciting year professional debut in June and uh, last Thursday his girlfriend Carly gave birth to his first son Teddy he said he's had some sleepless nights ahead of this maybe that it reflects on his performance a bit I think it's more his attitude Adam it's as though he just wants to look flash but he started this round with a beautiful right hand from long range you should just get his punches off a little bit quicker Smith, very experienced, knows how to tie up inside. And as we get towards the second half of the fight, Smith's going to be doing a bit more of this. Got a bit of a weight advantage, Ernie Smith, in his blue trunks. 27 years of age and already over 100 fights. But he's so grizzled and determined. Always comes to test the prospects, not just survive. Right. You can see he's more inclined now to, to clinch. I think the couple of body shots have taken some of this thing away. And the hell he has putting a little bit more thought into what he's doing now. Hey! Not many Fire people now. stop Garrett Harvey like George Hilliard did. Once again, he gets a ticking off from referee Lee Cook. I think that was for a little bit of the, the shoulder up close. Must have been a nice one because I didn't spot it myself for the referee. Man. Body shots from Hilliard. And again, Smith finds the right hand. There's no power in the Midlands fight or any one stoppage. Smith holding with the one hand and punching with the other. You don't have 105 fights without learning some of the old tricks. Good right hand again. Yeah, little body shot followed by the straight right. And not as much from Smith. Here in the third. Hey! Graham Delahedi, Takalu, Jawid Khalid, Ross Minter all managed to stop Ernie Smith. Be some feat if George Hilliard can do it in Ernie's third outing. I don't think he's looked quite so smooth tonight, Hilliard. He's a little bit involved. His defence has been a little bit sloppy. If this had been the only time I had seen him, I wouldn't be greatly impressed, but uh, I've seen him boxing better than this, and I'm sure I'll see him boxing better in the future. Left hook. Already a solid feel right. to the youngster, who was a uh, pretty good amateur. Never did anything out of this world. But I don't think, as we said earlier, he got too many favours from the referees.
He's winning it though, Hilliard. So don't worry about it. You've got to have a big round of this here. Just be convincing, you hear me? You hear me? Just be convincing. You've got to... Honestly, no fucking round, George. Roy Callahan. You've got to win this last round. You've got to win this last round, mate. Terribly happy with George Hilliard from the off. No, a lot of the time it's as though his mind hasn't properly been on the job. He wants to put a show on. He wants to look uh, Mr. Macho Man, well, he's certainly done that. But uh, he's made this fight much more competitive, probably, than it should have been. And as you can see, Smith doing a bit more spoiling up close now. That was the shoulder. Easy to spot than the, the replay. The referee did well to spot it. It was on his blind side there. Well, you can see there the success landed a few more Hilliard, but not comprehensive stats for the prospects. Final round. First time, maybe, George Hilliard will have to hear the final bell, but he's started quick. And a good left hook, and Ernie Smith beckons him in, <laughs> looks to his corner as if to say, I've felt those before. See, again, he's spoiling. It's difficult now for Hilliard to look good because uh, Smith is just really spoiling and doing very little else. See, there he goes again. A bit more experience, Hilliard will realise to step off a little bit, get the punches off a little bit sooner before Smith has a, the chance to spoil. Last round might become untidy here. Yeah, leaning from Ernie Smith, who also put a shoulder in a bit like Hilliard had earlier. You can't show Ernie Smith any new tricks. This is where Hilliard wants to get the punches off a little bit quicker. Straight punches and stop Smith as he comes forward. Don't let him up close. That was more of a stumble there. Punch landed, but no problem. Again, attempting to work the body. That's why he's had success tonight, Hilliard. He has. His body punching has been very good, but it's time now, I think, to get the punches off and keep Smith at long range. He's don't get close. Every time he gets close, he's giving Smith the chance to spoil. But remember, massive goal in experience, and uh, Hilliard will be learning more from this fight, presumably, than for the first two knockouts. Yeah, and it's good to, to show him that fights are going to go the distance. They can't expect to blast everybody out. Come shield out for Ernie Smith. I want to hear that final bell so he can uh, have his 22nd fight next week of the year. Impressive punching now from Hull Yard, but again, not getting the chance to work. See, just say. I think he's going to be in trouble here. He's got a point knocked off him, George Hilliard, in his third professional fight. He's had the wrath of referee Lee Cook on him from before the opening bell, and finally, he's been deducted. Well, I think attitude is going to be a, a slight problem for Hill Yard in the future. He gets annoyed awful easily. I mean, Smith's just doing a job here. This is good action. Look at this. He's getting Ernie Smith into a bit of a rage. Shoulders have gone in. And they've been talking to each other, trying to outdo <laughs> each other in the ring. Hilliard with the talent, but Smith with the old knowledge. decided to do it the hard way tonight, so I would reckon he would have learned something early. Pushing with the shoulder again. He's given it to Ernie no, Smith. I don't know where they got that. No, no, he's, no. he's obviously more annoyed at Hill Yard than we were. But uh, he scored it the way he's seen it, but not the way I looked at it. That's incredible, really. Booze ring out around the York Hall, and yes, they are George Hilliard's fans. But apart from the point deducted, how did Ernie Smith win that fight? No, I mean, I, I don't know how it's come about. Uh, I mean, it was never a good performance, but I think the referee was maybe a little bit fed up with him. 
and he's taken out. See, that's, that's the shoulder. He did that several times. Eventually, he deducted the point, but uh, no, no way in my card he was winning that. But maybe young Hilliard has learned two lessons tonight. One, his attitude, and two, make sure of the, you know, put, put fights beyond doubt. Well, you, can, you can see the stats there suggest that Hilliard has well won it. He's well won it in my card. But uh, as I say, a couple of lessons learned tonight. What a strange start to his professional career. Two knockout wins, then a controversial defeat, and all sorts went on in there, attitude-wise. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of boxing, referee Luke Cook has scored this contest. For Hilliard, 37 points. For Smith, 38 points. Your winner from Starport, Ernie Smith. And show your appreciation, please, for George Hilliard. A rare, rare win for Midlands journeyman Ernie Smith. Big upset here. Yes, and Ernie was saving himself for him, wasn't he? <laughs> Fair's fair. Ernie Smith did not win that fight. <laughs> at what looked to be a, a bit of sporting stern verbal banter coming from uh, Barry Hearn at ringside, he was really given to the referee for his decision there. Hilliard was consistent, though, wasn't he? He got told off in every single round. Johnny, thank you very much indeed for being with us. Uh, just a reminder, three titles at stake again next week on Friday Fight Night. It's Isham Pickering and Michael Hunter for the British Commonwealth and European Super Bantamweight crowns. Join us at 10 next week on Sky Sports 1. Hope very much you've enjoyed it here. As usual, Junior Witter cannot convince everyone, but once again, Junior Witter wins, and wins with something to spare. Bye for now. Ladies and gentlemen, in the green corner, in the yellow corner, Friday Fight Night, in association with StansPoker.com.